was stuck out here in this bivvy, but it's sort of self 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 induced. I can't blame anyone. Your own fault, Tony. Yes, yeah, my own fault. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. We're back at the Peak District. Scott, Lassie, I've left the little one with her mum and dad. Although, to be fair, given the weather's improving, she probably would have been okay. But I've left her behind with her mum and dad while they can look after her. I'll get her down to that more soon, hopefully. But I'll just show you a little look around here. So we've got Ash with us. If you haven't heard of Ash, he's morning, done a everybody. bit of polar exploring, exploration. He's done polar bear wrestling and <laughs> such like. <laughs> managed to avoid that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that little edge there, that's uh, Basil Falter's edge. What was it called exactly? So the, the right hand side is Baslow and the, the Baslow. Is... So we've got Baslow there. I knew I'd remember it from Basil something or other. <laughs> And then you've got Stanage Edge and Stanage End up on the horizon over there. And there is, for anyone interested, a car park or a lay-by just down there that we were able to park in at 11 o'clock in the morning. And it's a Saturday in the middle of June. So we were quite lucky there, although it's not no school holidays yet. So we're heading this way and we're going to be able to see the reservoir in a moment. Okay, well, ooh, it's a bit breezy. It's a little bit of a breeze. I'm hoping it will die off a little bit later, but that's the Lady Bawa Reservoir down there. Well, we were walking along there and then we found the old salt cellar here. So we've decided to stop. It's surprisingly quiet uh, here. It's Sunday, you got people walking past over there but very very few people actually coming down down here so we thought we'd just stop and have a cup of tea well not a cup of tea i got tea on the mind a drink of water and a snack and then we'd have a look at the old salt cellar here it's in the frame but yeah it's pretty decent up here it's a nice pretty nice views around there we've walked about we've done five kilometers it didn't seem like we've done that it's also we've moved a kilometer or two but we've done five kilometers already over there somewhere it might be the soap cellar thing and we're looking for something around here we might have to pitch up in the peat all right well oh, hang on i'm not sure the camera is quite in exactly the right place yeah. let's try that all right well we found a bit of peat so we're gonna settle down here, I'm taking the prime spot and the peasants can go over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Peasants. Peasants. <laughs> so what we've got this time is we've literally just got a bivy. I did bring the tap, but I don't think I need it. It's looking decent enough. Oop, and that's the camera falling over. This great big monster that I've That's what you brought with up, you. Yeah. So this is a Terra Nova Southern Cross One. Yeah, first Very outing. Good. And I'm gonna trash the and you're going to yeah, the ground sheet and everything. <laughs> Well, I know it's quite a. Um, that's why. Oops. Journey. That's why I usually like to bring a little bit of a foam yeah. mat with me. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to put that there, and then hopefully it won't blow away. I think we've got just enough shelter. 
Are you thinking about over there? Yeah, there's a big this, this stuff looks annoying, but once you flatten it down. It's yes. It is surprising how creative you can be with your pitching when pitching. you need to be. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure how <laughs> how slippery this is going to be. Yeah. Do you bivy much? Oh, well, I have a bit. Not not very often, but I I have. I would. Actually, I don't think I ever have actually. Haven't you? No, you no, never have. Not for any particular reason. It just yeah. Never own one. And you I've you always... never have. No. I mean the. Yeah, I have a few times, and I've I mean I've I've used them in the rain, but yeah. not. Admittedly, not uh, not like this in the rain. I have a cover, yeah. You know, put a tarp over the head end. Yeah. Any shame is I won't be able to get a nice tent shot, but <laughs> you know. Uh, now that. Lassie, come here. Let me pack off. Lassie, come here. The only thing is, this is the this is the FK. Let's see, let's see. This is the super light bivy. Yeah. So it only has a, an entrance across the top. Okay. The slightly the slightly heavier one has a zip that goes down the side. <laughs> but I wanted to try. I wanted to try this and see what it's like. So that's all my food. So we can have a look in there. Oh, I, I, just in case I didn't bring enough food, I put an extra couple in as well. No, it's uh, Tony, Tony Hobbs, I call you Tony Tubbs. <laughs> Tony Tubbs, yeah. Here comes Tubbsy. <laughs> Tubbsy, yeah. All this food. Not because of, yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying you have a belly, I'm just saying you well, have I have got a belly. You have lots of food, because I've yeah. got a belly. So, what have we got here? So we've got cap, fuel, down jacket. Put that. I mean, for me, this is this is probably my favourite part to be on this. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same. I do like. It. I do enjoy. It. Being in, being in camp. Yeah. I might kick you a meter that way potentially. You want, you want, you want to, you want, you want the the master to move. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, I'll get on. Let me. Uh, Who's the who's the pleb around here? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> no, I can probably just a tiny. I thing. can probably move that way. I mean, I'm. I mean, I'm not. I'm not fixed in. No. I'm fairly flexible. <laughs> I'm almost halfway inclined to cowboy camp. Yeah, you know that's the other thing. Right. It's not that cold, and I've, my sleeping bag's rated to zero. I've right. Got but I do want to try out the tent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I can get the mat out. So this is the Thermo Rest Pro Light. So this is the light one. Yeah. The entrance is pretty decent, you know, even though there's no zip down there. It's, uh... I don't know if I can move a meter, but I can probably move yeah, yeah. 50 centimeters. Right. I think it might cost you though. I can't do it for free. That's all right. I'd have to charge you something. That's all right. I can, I can. <laughs> well, I know you like food, so I've got some food. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Some of that. yeah. <laughs> We've got the uh, leggings and socks and I've got. <laughs> 
you bring bedtime socks with you? If I was on a longer trip, yes, absolutely. And I'd right. change them every night. Just because your feet are the most important thing, aren't they? A multi-day stuff. Right, yeah. yeah. So, watch out, mate. Well, you're not a mate, you're a girl, you're a lady. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so do you have like two or three pairs then? You have a pair for in camp and then a pair that you walk? Just two. So then, two pairs in total? Yeah, I might yeah. Even wash them as well, you know, in, yeah. uh, in a bit of... Well, it's just, it's quite reasonable, isn't it? Yeah, I think that looks very decent. Yeah, I was hoping for a nice over the valley shot. <laughs> That's me set up. I've actually, Sandy, I'm quicker than you this time. The only thing I. The only thing that would be handy, which I don't have and I didn't put in. And that would be oh, like a little, I've got a Cuban, I don't want to put my stuff sack down, but a little bit of, um, you know, just something to put my feet on here. But I can put my feet on Lass's pack like that. That's fine. I'll probably move a couple of feet that way just to give uh, Ash, you know, a little bit more leeway. So if I fart in the night, I don't literally blow him out of the tent. You know, at least if I fart over this way, it's, it's not quite so catastrophic for it. <laughs> in fact, looking at this grassy bank here, and I'm kind of thinking that I can probably put the bivy on there. So here we are in camp. I've put the bivy out. I don't really don't think I'm going to need the tarp at all. No rain is forecast. And if there was a shower, well, I could duck under cover. It's waterproof. So Ash is having his summit to eat meal. We will be in a minute. So I've got water on for mine. He's very kindly lent me. Well, he didn't, <laughs> he gave it to me. He doesn't want it. He doesn't, he doesn't want it back. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, it's not so that's his, uh, that's his Terra Nova tent set up. We might have a little look around there later when we've had something to eat. Last is, had our food we've got water down there for her so the sun's just dropping down oh over there and there's camp scrub out your, camp uh, sunshine you have to scrub out your your mess <laughs> uh, it's mean it's it's a bit tidy half tidy it's not too mucky for me <laughs> viewers would have something to say if they were honest <laughs> well that's yours that's yours so that's my fuel that's my stove the water bowl and then my food bag there so it's half tidy for me yeah <laughs> so I'll, I'll let you off yes oh let's see Ooh. And then we've just got this fairly easy way around to camp. That was snuggly ish yeah. in this uh, thingy me bob here, and Ash has got into his very cozy tent and we're <laughs> we're stuck out here 
in this bivvy, but it's sort of self 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 induced. I can't blame anyone. Your own fault, Tony. Yes, yeah, so your own fault. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we kind of brought this rather than a nice cozy tent. But this is fine. I have to say, it's quite cozy. It's um, I probably to be fair, I probably could have put the um the uh the X light in here. I think I think given that the um, quilt is quite thin anyway, I don't think it would have taken up too much room. So it would have been a bit more comfortable on the on the ground. Because the, these pro lights, they're not the most comfortable. They're quite thin, but uh, it's not too bad. I think what I might do is move this foam mat that I've got, which I brought with me just to give me a bit more comfort. I probably could do with just moving it under my hips a bit more. But it's uh, it's quite cozy. We're gonna have another cup of tea. Um, because you can never have enough, you can never have enough tea. <laughs> so we've got, we've got obviously our food in there. The hat, the pack, Lass's pack there. And Lass has settled down here. She thinks, what the hell is Daddy doing outside? <laughs> outside? He's normally at least under something. Oh, let's see. It is quite cool. It's cool on the hands, but not cold, but definitely cool. But uh, quite, quite cozy. No, Lassie, you're not coming in. If I can. No, 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 we won't. No. No, we no, we've really just woken I'm more likely got to be careful I don't fall asleep again. <laughs> Everybody, oh. we have genuinely just woken up. You know, we just magically turned on the GoPro from from the thing using the power of the force. So there was nothing fake about this this waking up. We had a very slippy, slidey night. We slept well. Just, I, th I think part of the time we ended up halfway down the valley because I don't know whether it's this ground sheet or this mat, this air bed, or, or I did have the X-Pad foam mat under me. So maybe it was that, maybe it's that we're just on extremely slippery peat or extremely slippery heather grassy stuff. But it was an extremely slippery evening's experience last night. But other than slipping around, 
we did sleep. We did sleep very well. I was warm enough. I once I kept. <laughs> it shows how cold blooded I am too, because yeah, I don't think the temperature went below. I doubt 10 degrees or something last night. I'll have a look in a minute at the weather station, but I had the the quilt around me. I had my t-shirt, I had my shirt, I had my wind shirt, and I had my down jacket. It's a very light, it's all light stuff. It's not heavy winter stuff, but and my light down jacket on and obviously the quilt wrapped around me as well. And I still did the biffy up at one point, at some point in the morning when it just got a little bit cooler with the breeze. But, you know, I was comfortable, um, you know, with all that. I had, you know, exactly, you know, the right amount of equipment to keep me warm. But I'm pretty sure we kind of started up over here and at one point during the night, I think I was about two feet down that way. I slid quite a bit. Anyway, somehow you need to try and get comfortable um, and get this get this kettle on. So that's the next thing to do. So we've got tea, and you we slowly starting to see those rocks over there they were visible i think my head popped tight because i i like i said i did the i did the bivy up at um i don't know maybe like three o'clock in the morning i think i undid it at maybe six or seven because it was just getting a little bit warmer and at that point, I think I could see the rocks over there. And then sometime in the last hour, I think the mists came in because the mist started just over there and this bit was clear. But then the mist just slowly, because I think it like started over Kinder area, but then it slowly come in. Now, to be fair, whether it's mist or low cloud, I'm not quite sure, but Basically, we can just slowly starting to see them. I need to try and <laughs> level out my my mat in in here. It's uh, twisted, twisted there, and it's. Uh, <laughs> I'm making a right pig's meal of this bivying like anyway uh, the more important things is tea and then i better get some water on for porridge because it's it's already it's already half past eight <laughs> and so ash is just putting his tent away he's got most of his stuff in his pack and well we've to be fair we've got the sleeping bag and the mat away but obviously we've we haven't put the bivy away yet and we're going to have another quick cup of tea and then we've just got a few bits around so it probably looks worse than it than it is <laughs> here at the moment but we are making some but we are making some progress i think we ought to do something to to make ash slow down make, maybe have a have a mini hurricane right where he is <laughs> <laughs> it's already 1 p.m. Tony. 1 p.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. We're, we're, we're telling everyone it's half past nine. But yeah, okay. <laughs> Tony Tenties. <laughs> Tony Tenties. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, we're just putting away our last few little bits. I've I've made a tea. Most of my bits and bobs are in there. So. Really, and then that's the bivy. I brought the poncho tack with me just in case it was needed, but it hasn't been needed. So really, it's just these few bits to go. Cook her in. Just finish my tea, and then we're we're pretty much 
done. And Ash, as you can see, he's ready. <laughs> he's locked and loaded and ready to go. So I'm going to get this last few bits, these last few bits sorted out. And we will make sure that there is nothing left. And we will catch up in a minute. We've left camp. We've picked up everything. Didn't leave anything behind. Lassoed Lasses pack on her, which is now pretty much empty. She had a small amount of water and a bit of food in there, but she's eaten the food, drunk the water, and we found this quite nice trail down here. So it should be, I think, fairly easy walking. It's about 12 kilometers back to the car. There's a couple of people down there with a dog. I'm surprised there's only one down there really because it's, we're kind of in the middle of nowhere here but there must be there must be civilization not too far away because they're not they don't exactly look packed up or anything but it is it's quite pretty around here you've got a lot lot of valleys and Peaks. You can see those, that rock formation up over there that we saw, which is probably around the salt cellar area or one of those. Maybe a bit further on than that. Oh, that's a bit, uh, <laughs> that's a bit wobbly, isn't it? And then how are you going to get over that one? You're going to, yeah, up there. I got Good girl, I say. <laughs> well, once again, that's the end of another little walk, camp, a uh, little adventure out. Thanks very much for watching. I uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Don't forget to check out my Patreon page, membership. Uh, like, subscribe, share, hit that notification button. See you next time.